Hello everyone, it's Danielle. I'm doing a solo playthrough of Marvel um, Legendary, or Legendary Marvel. <laughs> I always call it Marvel Legendary, I don't know why. Um, so I probably might say that again. But I do have to set up for a solo playthrough. Um, the scheme we will be using is the Midtown Bank Robbery. So this one says set up eight twists, 12 total bystanders in the villain deck. Special rules, each villain gets plus one attack for each bystander it has. Twist. Any villain in the bank captures two bystanders, then play the top card of the villain deck. Evil wins when eight bystanders are carried away by escaping villains. So, um, yeah, we're gonna try our best to survive this one. We have our mastermind, and I don't, I usually just put the mastermind tactics face up right behind it. It's not, doesn't matter to me. Um, so we have this always leads, which you actually ignore for solo so uh, we'll ignore that on this so this is a strip strife strif, uh the mastermind um and so yeah so stack this master strife next to strife strife gets plus one damage for each master strike stacked next to him each player reveals a x-men hero or discards a card at random and i think all three of these are x-men heroes so we shouldn't have no issues with that as long as we're buying some cards or recruiting some heroes we start with um so i'm using the what if solo rules so we're using uh the henchman villain ultron sentries and this says you know there's a bunch of different empowered icons but this one is for this i'm not too familiar with each of these icons and what they mean so i'll just say that one for now so empowered by that and then fight knock out one of your heroes and it has two plus attack and gives me one victory point so we do start with those um, out right now and I'll explain what empowered means when we're uh, playing I do have the five heroes in the HQ already so you'll see we have hero decks cable forge and colossus and in the solo mode you do have three uh, decks that you play with okay so I think we're pretty much ready to go I am going to switch my views a little bit so that we could focus on this lower area where I'll be you know looking at what's in the city, what's in the HQ, and what I'll be playing down here. So hopefully that works for you guys. Okay, um, what else do we have? I have my bystanders up here, my wounds up here. Shield officer is always uh, available to be purchased for three recruit. I have my deck down here, deck of 12 cards, um, and I'll just get started here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll draw six cards into our hand. And what do we have? Okay, so a lot of recruit points. So unfortunately, we don't even have uh, enough attack to take out any of the henchmen, which is okay. But we have five recruit points. So let's just lay them out. So five re recruit points means we could pretty much get any of these except the rapid response force. Um, I like trying to get attacks, but I'm not sure if right now we might want to focus on other things so we'll get one of these the reboot which gives us uh, some extra recruit points than our starting deck let's just slide things slide things over and see what comes out it's too expensive so we'll get uh with the remaining recruit we'll we'll uh recruit draw their fire colossus okay and that's that very very quick turn Ooh totally forgot before we take our turn we actually had to flip over a villain card so let's do that he's a bystander so we'll just go into this villain that's fine it didn't really impact what we needed to do we'll draw the next six cards five six and then next turn we'll draw that villain card this is blockbuster um so the villain group i'm using is uh, marauders blockbuster gets plus two for each bystander he has ambush if there is a villain in the bank that villain and blockbuster each capture a bystander. So, yeah. This will get a bystander. And this will get a bystander. So this will have two. Okay. Let's see what's in our hand. Okay, so things are a little bit more even. We have three recruit and three um, attack. So... Let's definitely use the recruit first. 
And we'll use the recruit on, I guess we'll use on dirty work because that's the only options we have unless we wanted a shield officer. So with that, now we have three damage. If I were to damage any of these, I have to look at um, what is empowered by. So this is base two damage and we're looking for this icon. So there's one, two, three. So essentially this is a five. This one is going to be just a two, but fight says knock out one of your heroes. I would have to knock something out. Um, yeah, I guess we'll do that. And we'll save two bystanders in the process. So um, let's do that. We'll put it in our victory pile. We will knock out one of our shield agent heroes. And yeah, I think that's all we've got. Let's shuffle and draw. villain card we have vertigo so this says fight each player discards all the cards in their hand and draws as many as they discarded that's what happens when you fight that's pretty interesting um so lots of recruit and we have uh two superpower abilities that we can possibly use i think that's what they're called i have to pick which one because i don't have enough to do both um so basically when you play a card if the card you played has the icon that's required on the um, another card that's in your hand, you can do that ability. So I'll go ahead and actually just play this card because I don't really care for this ability. This one says any villain you fight in the sewers this turn gets minus two. I'm not going to be able to fight the sewers uh, villain right now anyway. But I will play Reboot, which has that ability. You may discard a card if you do draw two cards. So... Because I did play Dirty Work, I can I can play this and do that. So I'll discard one of my um, uh, shield agents. Or should I first recruit? You may discard a card. I wonder if I could discard a played card. Or it has to be from my hand. But I need this to do reboot. So there's like some timing issues there. I think to play fairly, what I think I'll do is I'll just discard from my hand. And because I do, I'll draw two cards. One, two. Okay. So we'll add this onto the attack. We have three, and then we have to rest our recruit points. So we have three, which can't take out that, and it can't take this out either. So we have just recruiting to do. Two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to take the, the rapid response force. Or, actually, I'll take the silent statue. I'll recruit this one for six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see what's out here. We have a master strike, our first master strike. So, master strike says stack the master strike next to strife. Strife gets plus one for each master strike stacked. Each player reveals a X-Men hero or discards a card at random. I happen to have one, so um, I'm safe from that discard. Okay, so let's just double check I want to play this card. If I play this card, I gain a wound. Otherwise, I'll just keep it in my hand. Um, looks like I might need to, to do any damage, so it might be worth it. Let's do that. So we'll do that. We'll gain one wound into our discard pile. And then we have an additional three damage. So that's a total of six, which could allow me to attack this one. So I think I will. And then I have two recruit points, which doesn't get me anything. So I'll attack the blockbuster. Um, there's no fight ability in the bystander. It's just a normal one. So nothing to do there. And that's it. That was a pretty good turn, I'd say. Um, we have a discard pile. We'll have to re reshuffle here. Um, I've been playing this game a lot, and hopefully I've been playing um, correctly, but either way, I'm having lots of fun with it. So much, um, you know, so many different ways to build your hero decks, different villains, so the replayability is very high. Very excited to, uh, to get back into this game. Okay, villain card. Ooh, it's a bystander, but it is a special one. 
It says, when you rescue this bystander, whichever player is ahead, uh, which means has the most VP, may KO one of their cards. So that would be always me. So I may be able to thin out my deck a little bit. Okay, so we have... Hmm... I think we can make this work. We'll have to gain a wound, though. So we'll do that. We'll gain that wound into our discard pile. We have three recruit points. The only thing we can get is dirty work. And then we have five damage, which I think we could do here. But let's uh, refill the HQ. Um, so this one needs five, and I'll do that. But there is a fight ability, and it says... Each player draws all the cards in their hand and draws as many cards as they discarded. I don't have any cards left in my hand, so I don't have to do that. But this bystander says, um, again, I can knock out one of my cards. So I'll go ahead and knock out a recruit um, point starter card. So, um, yeah, that's what I'll do. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we have a Chimera. So this one says, Chimera gets plus three for each bystander she has. Ambush, reveal the top three cards of the villain deck. Chimera captures all the bystander cards you revealed. Ooh. So one, two, three. No, no bystanders, which is good. Uh, random order, we'll put them back. So we know that there's no villains coming up on the next three cards. Okay. Um, so we have a wound, and in case you're not sure what a wound does, it does have this healing ability. If you don't recruit any heroes or defeat any villains on your turn, you can knock out all the wounds from your hand. So we'll want to do that eventually. Um, so this one has this like ability, it says you get plus two, but I only get it if I play a card with this icon, and I don't have one. Um, and this one has this ability, any villain you fight in the sewers this turn gets minus two. I don't have that icon required either, so I'll just place these down. Um, I have two recruit points, won't do anything for me, but I do have seven damage. So seven damage um, would have been okay for the base, but it does have one master strike, which means I need eight to attack that. So seven damage means I could potentially defeat... So this will require four and requires me to knock out one of my heroes because I have two with the empowered icon. And then this one's just three. This would be two, three, four. That would be three. And I think I actually have enough to kill both. So this says knock out one of your heroes. I'll knock out the shield agent. And then this one doesn't have a fight ability, so it's just dead. Nice, I cleared out my city of villains. All right, I have four in the deck. Five, six. Let's see what this brings us, a Master Strike. So now this is gonna be a nine. And you know what? Maybe I will track it with some dice. So we have a, a six, we have three. So right now it's a total of nine that I need, just so I remember, right? Um, okay see what we can do Ooh, why is this villain in my hand i think i meant to put it in there one two three four five six okay yeah this villain i think should have been did this come out though each player is going and then run. yeah no i did defeat this okay sorry about that so we have three um attack nothing to do with those because we don't have enough to even target strife but we have four recruit points and let's start recruiting something let's do the strike at the heart of evil a scheme twist our first one um so oh i forgot these special rules for the midtown um bank robbery each villain gets plus one for each bystander it has so i didn't follow that um oh well it is what it is i went uh now i know so i'll do that moving forward but anyway any villain in the bank captures two bystanders then play the top card of the villain card so no one's in the bank but we'll still play the top card of the villain deck it's another scheme twist all right so we we play the top card again and it is a scalp hunter 
he gets plus one for each bystander he has. And I guess that's in addition to this, so this could be pretty beefy. Ambush, each player chooses a bystander from the victory pile. Scalp Hunter captures those bystanders. So let's see what we have. Maybe one that's special. Oh, do I not have any special ones? I thought I did. did is it in my deck? I'm going to have to look. I think I have to. No, I don't. Okay, hold on. I thought I had one, but it's okay. Um, I'm going crazy, I think. Yeah, so that's fine. We'll just have to put that bystander under there. So this is going to be a four, five, six. So what we'll need there. So six. Okay, let's see what's in our hand. Okay, guys, so look. There is a bystander in my hand, so I was right. So I'm actually going to swap this out, and I had to draw another card. I must have accidentally put my victory pile into my deck. So let me just draw one more card for that sixth card. I'm such a mess. Okay. Um, so we have two wounds, which I don't think we'll do anything about. We'll play this, gaining a wound. And then we'll play, doesn't matter which one, play this. And then we'll play this to get um, this to be minus two. So that'll be currently a four. And so we'll have enough to at least take this out. And now it says, when you rescue, you may knock out one of your cards. I'll knock out this wound. Hopefully that counts. I don't know. Um, and the recruit point is just one. I think I could knock out a wound. If not, I'll have to just uh, correct myself after the fact. One, two, three, four. To draw two more. So uh, the goal of this game is to defeat the mastermind uh, four times. And we haven't done it yet. The villain card. The scheme twist. We draw another card. Another one. Another is a bystander. This will go on to uh, strip. Okay, I have to stick out a little bit. Um, we have this, but we don't have the fist. Okay, so I'll put this down, play that. This gets plus two only when fighting mastermind. That could be helpful. So right now, this is going to be um, seven, eight, nine, still nine. So I only have six damage that I can do. Seven with this. So unfortunately it's just not enough. But oh no, I still can't do these. So I have four recruit. That's all I'll be able to do. So I'll recruit this one. Reboot. That's the only one I'd like to do right now. That was a felt felt like a, a bad turn. Okay. Villain card. Alright, an Ultron Sentries card empowered so right now it's three okay so i don't think i'm gonna play this card because i don't want to gain a wound so i'll just keep that in my hand but i will play uh, both of these and that'll be three damage which is enough to damage this and when we fight we knock out one of our heroes so i'll knock out one of my recruit points and then i have two recruit points which i won't use okay Villain card is a bystander, so that means it'll go here. I have two wounds and lots of attack. Three, four, five, six, seven. Which is not enough to take anything out. So I'll just say I don't do anything. I'm not going to play any of these cards and I'll just heal these wounds. So I'll put them right back on top. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Of another bystander, not bad. Okay, so I have quite a bit of these cards. Um, so I'll put this down because we don't need dirty work to do anything for us. But now we can play this, which is reboot. We can discard a card. 
go discard this recruit and draw two cards and then because we did play one card we can do this again you may discard a card if you do draw two cards well actually if because I played this, I'll do this, right? That's how it goes. So I'll discard another one. Draw two. Alright. So this gets plus two only when fighting Mastermind. So that's a good card to have. Um, let me put my attacks together. This is going to be plus two here. Just to double check, I'll just do the plus two. I don't have another icon with a fist, but this gets four. So I have plenty of damage this time, plenty of recruit points too. So I have two, four, five, six, um, which I'll get the silent statue. And then two, four, six, ten, eleven, which is enough for this. So I'll attack. It says, fight a wound from the wound stack becomes a master strike that takes effect immediately. So this is another. And I rescue these bystanders. When you rescue this bystander, draw a card. I'll go ahead and do that. When you rescue this bystander, reveal the top four cards of your deck. Um, okay, let me just shuffle up my, my deck real quick. And then it says, draw each. Uh, top four cards. One, two, three, four. And it draws basically each of these icons. Um, put the rest back in any order. So it'll just be this one. These are all the same. Well, no, there's two troopers, so let's uh, put this on top. Draw this. I don't think we need this extra damage. Okay, that was my turn. Hopefully that was played correctly. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have a bystander again. Okay. So I'll play this. I gain a wound. And then I'll play this and gives me plus two. Right now I have six, nine damage, 10, 11, and two recruit points. So this actually needs, so this is seven, eight, nine, ten. It needs ten damage. I think I have that. One, two, three, four, eight, eleven. So it's enough to take that one out and get that bystander. So the next one is reveal the top six cards of the villain deck. Play all the master strikes you revealed. One, two, three, four, five, six. No master strikes. And then it says put the rest back in the random order. Okay. Nice. So we have two master strikes. Uh, two two uh, tactics to do left. All right. one card is a scheme twist nope and the bystander um. okay so I'll place this down for four this this, this, and then we'll get plus two if we fight the mastermind with it. So we have a lot of damage here. We still need one, two, three. Uh, which, which is ten. Um, and we have that. Two, four, six, eight, nine, plus four is thirteen. So we could definitely take out one more. This says, look at the top five cards of your deck, put one into your hand and discard the rest. No, that should take the bystander too. So one, two, three, four, five. Um, I'll take the recruit points. Discard the rest, it said. So I have three, yeah, three recruit points. 
and I will take the invulnerability, which is good if I gain wounds. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay. All right, an Ultron Sentry. So this is gonna be just a two, but I had to knock out one of my heroes. Okay. So I could take it out, but I don't think I want to take a wound right now. So I'll just focus on the recruit and play these. So two, three, four, five. Um, I guess I'll just take one of the reboots. Not too many options to pick from. Just need to defeat the mastermind one more time. I think there's like an, a variant where you could do like a final showdown where you defeat it like a final time, but I'm just gonna do it four times. It's a bystander, so that means this is going to be three. Okay, so let's see if I have enough to, to get ten damage, that would be helpful. There's a wound I don't want. Um, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. Well, let's see what we get, because we could draw two cards. So I will play this dirty work and then I'll play the reboot which says I could discard a card I'll discard a wound to draw two cards okay and then I'll play this it says I gain a wound and then I'll play this and I just played the punch the green punch icon so I could get plus two there so that'll be plus two and then I might have enough damage so that's five 10, 11, 12, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 10, 13. Yeah, so that's enough to take out this final mastermind tactic. So each other player reveals X hero or gains a wound. So I do have an X hero. So that's fine. Um, unless revealing means it's from your hand. And I'm going to actually see if somebody can watch this playthrough to see if I'm actually playing right. I found this really cool Discord community um, that plays this heavily, so I might be able to get somebody to help me out just to make sure I'm playing right. I feel like I'm getting most of the rules right, at least. Okay, so in terms of recruiting, I don't think there's any really recruitment required at this point. Um, so we'll just, uh, yeah, we'll just score, I think. But if I had 13, that means I have enough to take this out. So that would be good. Yeah, I'll knock this out. This is three. Yeah. Okay. That worked out. So now I'll just count up my points. So I'll go ahead and count in fives. Uh, one, two. There's six, actually. So six. Six. That's 18. 24. 25. 30, 35, there's going to be 45, 43. So currently I'm at 43 and I have to count how many scheme twists I have. So 43 minus 18, I think that's how I would calculate it because you, you lose three points per scheme twist. So my score is 25. I think that's okay. I've been averaging about 25 to 28 for, for my scores. Um, but yes, this was um, Legendary Marvel mixing in base cards, Dark City, and What If cards as well. Um, this is fun. I love the deck building aspect. It feels very quick. This new solo rule mode is very, very good. I've had a lot of fun with it, and there's plenty of ways to make it more challenging as well, but I did like the easiest normal version that I could. Um, 
But yeah, I've been having a ton of fun, you know, using different hero decks together. I might try two-handed at some point, but I feel like this is, this actually feels good to me. I enjoy it. Um, if you play this game and you notice I made any rules, mistakes at all, let me know. Please do, because I've been playing this a lot and I want to make sure that um, I'm playing as correctly as I can. <laughs> um, but yes, I'm not, I'm not perfect. But anyway, I'll stop rambling. As always, I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.